welcome to this video. Thanks for uh, taking the time to, to watch all these videos. It, it's so important to really get our heads around what is LLN. And you've watched a couple videos now that we've put up to give you a little bit more insight in where LLN came from. What's its purpose? What's its vision? What is it here for? How does it affect my life? And this is just a video from my perspective about what LLN, what, what's the big picture with LLN. And I want to come from this perspective that Australia has a dream. Australia has a vision when it comes to the Australian population from the context of a workforce and just the context of society in itself. So if you go with me on this for a little bit, I just want, to, I want you to imagine that Australia has a dream, right? That one day all Australians will have the personal capacity to successfully participate in life having the basic platform needed to communicate in all aspects of society. So we imagine for a second, just for a moment here, imagine the Australian nation full of frustrated, disengaged, lonely, insecure people who are constantly experiencing failure in their attempts to communicate with others. And think about the effects that that would have. What starts to fall through the cracks in our nation with a population like that? What effect does that have on our country as a whole or even locally here, right here in Perth or where, where you're from? And how has your life been affected with, with others who, who have a low level of language literacy and numeracy? How, how has it made you know, things more challenging? And that's a great conversation to have because I think we all have experienced some level a, a communication barrier when it comes to getting on the same page about a contract or uh, um, you know uh, confirming details about an order or or, or something um, something that we might be inquiring about and we can just f find this uh, frustrating at times even just in our day-to-day -day lives because there's a lack of um, of, of being on on the same page on the same platform when it comes to the language literacy and numeracy uh, that Australians use nationwide. So now I want you to just to imagine with me another kind of nation. Imagine a nation where people of all ages and backgrounds have the basic platform needed to communicate with others. And when, for example, when they order at a restaurant or maybe they drop, <clears throat> drop they make an inquiry or something or they drop off a delivery or simply just check a bus table or a timetable they could do it with ease and confidence a nation where communication across the board both socially and professionally is just clear and confident how could that impact Australia how could that improve our workforce our day-to-day -day experience and remove just simple issues so what effect would that type of population have on Australia? What effect, imagine what effect that could have on our, your local community and just your life personally. And now I want you to imagine that you personally can have a direct impact on the creation of, of that vision, of a vision where, where the, the whole population is able to communicate across the board with ease and comfort and clarity. And, and that you have a tool, a system, that can create that vision, that can bring two things together. This course is about catching that vision and empowering your knowledge and your skills to understand how to use this tool. Because that tool is the conduit to the future of a higher performing language literacy and numeracy nation. That tool, my friends, is the ACSF, the Australian Core Skills Framework. And this is where we're going to go with our next videos. This is where we're going to go into our workbooks. So please make sure that you've got your, your workbook um, handy there, printed out or on your computer ready to go, and that you've also got the Australian Core Skills Framework uh, downloaded on a PDF as well. Um, and if you can print that out, that would be great too, as that's what we're going to be going through, and, and you'll be referring to that a lot. So the next thing that we're going to get into, guys, is this Australian Core Skills Framework. 
And here's the Australian Course Skills Framework right here. And if you do have it, open that up to page two. Um, it's in, in this, the Australian Course Skills Framework has these five core skills, the learning, reading, writing, oral, and numeracy. And it says right here that these are essential for people to participate in society, which is exactly what I just talked about. It, they need it to be able to communicate effectively in, in different contexts. So it's not just at work. It, it might be <clears throat> when you're out socially and that sort of thing. And what they've noticed is the challenge is not confined to those poor basic skills, but extends to all people trying to understand new forms of communication and information as they take on different roles in life and work. And this is the one that gets me, guys. Different roles in life and work. That's the Australian dream. Okay? Is that we want to be able to to be able to communicate. And if, if we take a look at the work, at the LLN workbook, and we're on page 10 here, you can see um, uh, on that page why the big push. And we've got a startling uh, figure here that Around 7 million Australians don't have the LLN required to meet the demands of just everyday life and work. So that's one in three three people. That does include all population, so it includes babies and children, just to keep it in context. But that's still a lot of people. And this is where Australia went, whoa. Because as a developed country, comparatively to other con developed countries around the world, we're just not performing. We're just simply not performing uh, on a on a LLN level. So Australia recognized this actually back in 2008 is when they really started to recognize it. And you know, lots of discussions were made, some decisions were made in 2010 to move forward, and then in 2012 they said, "Yep, we're getting this going." And that's when it really started to come into vocational education and training. So you you'll see it in high schools now, just this year, 2014, that. It, it, graduates must have an um, ACS level, right, of three, um, LLN level of three in order to graduate. Because the vision is, Australia's vision is that by 2022, they want 70% of the workforce, and I, I can't remember where I read this, uh, this particular um, statistic. I think it was on IPSA's website. And they want, by 2022, 70% of the Australian workforce to be at a level three. So they're getting it in high schools right now, and they're implementing LLN into all the vocational qualifications, So that they're and they're doing that through what's called foundation skills, which by the end of 2015 will be in all the training packages, foundation skills. So LLN's huge, guys. And there is a dream. There absolutely is a dream. And and that Australia wants to 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 raise the LLN level of us of Australians as a whole. So if you're taking this course, you you're directly able to have an impact on that dream actualizing. So from here, guys, we're going to learn about the ACSF. We're going to dive into it so we can understand the tool, understand how we can use it, and understand how it affects your job. I'll see you in the next video.